Accessing nested objects in JavaScript. The subproperties of objects can be accessed by chaining together the dot or bracket notation. And here they're telling us that there is a nested object. So we are presented with variable our storage, which is assigned an object, an upper level object right here. And within our object, there are three properties which each contain an object of their own. So we have property desk, which inside of that property, there is currently an object with a property of its own called drawer, which contains a string of stapler. Then we have the other property cabinet, which inside of it contains an object with the property top drawer. And within that property top drawer, there is another object with properties of its own called folder one and folder two. Folder one contains a string value of a file and property folder two contains a string value of secrets. Lastly, we have our final property, which is bottom drawer, which has no object contained inside of it. It just simply has a string value of soda. So here we are provided with examples of accessing these properties within our object with a combination of dot and bracket notation. So in this example right here, if we were to type out this declaration, we would be accessing our storage, our storage's property cabinet, and within that cabinet, we would also be accessing top drawer right here. And within the top drawer, we would be accessing folder two. So we would be returned with a string value of secrets. This right here returns a string value of secrets. Then we are presented with another, another example of accessing our object, one of our object's properties. And here we are accessing our object, our storage. We are, we are then accessing desk with dot notation. So we access this, then we access this. We currently find ourselves within our object assigned to desk. And lastly, we are accessing the drawer property, which contains a string value of stapler. And I believe that, that, that that's what they're explaining right here. So our storage dot cabinet using bracket notation to access top drawer and then dot notation folder two would be the string secrets as I have previously stated and our storage dot desk our storage accessing desk dot drawer then accessing drawer would be the string stapler and we are tasked with the challenge of accessing the my storage object and assigning the contents of the glove box property to the glove box contents variable we need to use dot notation for all properties where possible and otherwise utilize bracket notation so we have our object right here which we need to access. And we need to assign the contents of the glove box property right here. So we need to assign this to the glove box contents variable. We need to assign this string value to our variable glove box contents. So if we call upon our variable, we should be returned maps. So let's do that real quick currently assigned a value of undefined. So we need to access firstly, my storage, excuse me, my storage. Then we need to access our property car. We can use dot notation for that. Then we need to access glove box. Since this is a string value with a space in it, we need to use bracket notation. So we simply type in our string glove box. No, sorry, 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 excuse me. Car, then we need to go inside. So we add our dot notation right here and we type in inside. And then we need to access our glove box. And since it, since it has a space, we need to use bracket notation to access it. So now we do what I was doing previously and we type in our string value right here of glove box and well, there is a mistake right here so now our variable glove box contents 
contained a string of maps, which we accessed through a combination of dot and bracket notation. So let's test if we are correct by logging into the console our variable glovebox contents. And there we go. We returned a string of maps, which is what is contained inside of our glove box property inside of our my storage object. Let's run the test real quick and see if we are correct. And yes, we are. There you go.